Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm showing you guys how much I made in the month of July and just dividends alone. Dividends is by far the easiest way to make passive income. That's when you're investing into a company, and the company pretty much pays you out every single month or every quarter in the form of dividends for being an investor into their company. So that is one of the easiest ways that I make passive income. And in the month of July, I got paid out from 14 different companies that's where i got paid out 14 different paychecks in the month of july and this is by far the best month of dividend payments i've had in my dividend investing journey but make sure you stick out the entire video because i'm giving you guys a, a portfolio update that i'm having a major change to my portfolio and i could see a, a major growth in my portfolio really really soon on the change that i'm making to my portfolio so make sure that you don't miss out on that information guys but before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $5, and now you can receive two free stocks valued up to $2,300. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. And if the promotion change, I'm gonna leave an updated link down in the description. Sometimes they have even better promotions, so please keep your eye open for that one. Also, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to BlockFi. If you have cryptocurrency just sitting around and you're not spending it, sign up by using BlockFi. Deposit at least $100 in cryptocurrencies and you're able to gain interest on the cryptocurrency that you invest into that platform. And also, they have a sign up bonus. If you deposit $100 worth of cryptocurrency, you'll be able to earn up to $250 in cryptocurrency. So don't miss out on that amazing opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, Dreamers. Here we are on my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $62,412.83.89 um, on the week. Well, on the month of July, had a pretty bad month. I'm down 7.24%, down $4,869.42. So, yes, we are down. But over, on the year, we're still up a lot, 14%. So, you guys already know what I do when the market is pulling back. I buy the dip. I'm buying stocks that are great, that are actually on sale when it has a pullback. And then I anticipate them recovering soon in the near future over the next year or so, uh, giving me a greater profit in a shorter time to turn around from the negatives to the profits. But we're going to go ahead and look at the dividends that pay me out this month. OK, here we go. We're going to just fly through them right quick. I'm going to give you guys every single one since I got paid out 14 times. I'm just going to have to run through every single one. The first dividend that paid me out on July 1st was Coca-Cola, uh, ticker symbol KO. They paid me out. I own four shares of Coca-Cola. They paid me out 42 cents per share. And so that's a total of a dollar and 68 cents from coca-cola now you guys know coca-cola is a dividend aristocrat that means they have been increasing their dividend payments every single year for the last 50 years so that's why i love investing into coca-cola if you guys are looking for a great stable company coca-cola might be the way to go the second company that paid me out is nvidia which i'm going to start buying a lot more shares of because they just had a stock split a 41 stock split for every one share that you own of nvidia you ended up getting four in the video over the last year has just been killing it. They're up 84%, and over the last five years, they're up 1,000%. So that's why they had a stock split because their price was getting so high. But at the time, I owned 0 0.3 shares worth of NVIDIA, paying out 16 cents per share, and now, so I got paid out five cents from NVIDIA. The next company that paid me out is ADT. I think I got a free ADT stock from someone signing up using my link, and I did receive dividends from it. Uh, pay me out four cents from just one share of ADT. So I got paid out three times on the very first day of July. I got three checks. The second time on July 2nd, I got paid out from VOO, ticket symbol VOO. It is a Vanguard ETF, very safe, stable company. Tracks the top 500 companies in America. I own one share that paid out $1.33. And I got paid out a total of $1.35. Now, this is one boring ETF, but if you look over the last year, they're up 34%. Over the last year, they're up 102%. They're not going to shoot up super high in one year, and then they're not going to shoot down super low in one year, unless, of course, it's a pandemic. But besides that, I'm up already 50% just from owning one share. So if you, if you are scared of the stock market and you're looking for a good ETF to invest into, 
I invest into VOO. I can't tell you what to invest into, but I invest into VOO. The fifth company that paid me out is a gaming company, ticket symbol um, H-E-R-O, Hero. I own eight shares of Hero, paying out two cents per share, and they paid me out 20 cents. And this is a quarterly paying dividend stocks. Quarterly paying dividend stocks mean they pay me out um, four times a year, every three months. The next one that paid me out is AGNC. I got paid out $13.44. I own a total of 112 shares. AGNC is a real estate REIT. Real estate REIT usually pays out higher dividends than um, other companies. Let's take a quick look at AGNC. Right here on AGNC, I am up 10% and I have a dividend yield of 9.07%. They have a very high dividend yield. All the other companies have a dividend yield around maybe 1%, half a percent, or maximum they might have one around like 2%. 2.3%, but um, real estate REITs, they are required to pay out um, a large portion of their um, profits back to their investors. So that's why they usually have higher dividends and agency is a monthly paying dividend stock. I mean, I receive these payments every single month. I've received more, I've received more in dividends than I have in returns. So I'm up a lot more than $166 um, because I've been investing in, into them much longer than a year now. So that was AGNC. Um, I'm gonna start showing you guys the dividend percentage. The next one is ticker symbol O. This is also a real estate REIT. I got paid out $2.36. If we take a look at um, uh, ticker symbol O, realty income, this is known as the monthly paying dividend stock. They pay out their dividends every single month and they have a pretty sweet dividend yield of 4%. It's not as high, it's not as, high as AGNC, but a 4% dividend is a little bit safe. They mean they have more money in their capital to grow the company even more other than giving all of their money back to their investors, guys. So um, ticker symbol O is a pretty sweet company to invest into to look for a monthly dividend income. Um, the next company that paid me out is IIPR. Can't talk about them. If you wanna know what they do, go look it up yourself. I need this YouTube revenue. Um, I own 1.5 shares, pay me out $2.19. But if we look at the growth over the year, you guys could probably already tell what market they're in. If not, like I said, go look it up. They're up 100% in a year. I'm up 125% and they have a dividend yield of 2.39%. So that was IIPR. The next one that paid me out is PSEC. PSEC is a monthly paying dividend stock. I own 11 shares. Pay me out six cents per share, so I got 66 cents from PSEC. And if we take a look at PSEC, they have a dividend yield of 8.89%. Once again, they have a pretty sweet dividend yield. This is also a monthly paying dividend stock, real estate REIT. Um, the next one is GE. I, I believe I received GE as a free stock from someone signing up. Pay me out one cents. Uh, so I received one cents from GE, General Electric, and they have a dividend yield of 0.31%. The next stock that paid me out is GPS Gap. Um, Gap has been doing extremely well ever since that collaboration with um, Kanye West. I own 10 shares, paid out 12 cents per share. I got $1.25 from Gap. Gap is up 117% um, on year. Once again, once they announced the um, collaboration with Kanye West, their stock has been shooting up. I am up 114% on Gap. If you guys been following my channel for a while, you're probably up on a lot of stocks. Let's say if I if if I told you guys I was buying these 15 stocks, you'll probably be up on 12 of them and down on three of them. Or you might be up, depending on when you got in, you might be up on 10 of them and down on five of them. But hey, that ratio right there is insane, guys. So if you hey, if you want to keep up with this channel, make sure that you um, go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine, guys. But yeah, I've been buying Gap probably a year ago when I, when I told you guys. But yeah, uh, Gap has a dividend yield of point. Um, 8.3%. The next company after Gap is um, NRZ. NRZ pay me out. I own 200 shares of NRZ. They pay out 20 cents per share and they have paid me out $40. This is a quarterly paying dividend stock. Um, NRZ, I am down 16%, but I believe I have made, nah, maybe not yet. I have not made $400 yet in dividends from NRZ, but they have a dividend yield of 6.66%. So I own 200 shares of NRZ, even though I was up not too long ago when they was up to like $11.30, I was up. Um, but you know, we still got some time to recover from the pandemic. 
once they get back up to around $17, I'm going to be making a lot of money from NRZ. So I'm just going to let that be a slow recovery and continue to dollar cost average in over time. Uh, this is also a real estate um, REIT. So that's NRZ. The next one is PEY. Uh, got paid out on the 30th. PY is a ETF. It's a high dividend yield ETF on 105 shares of um, PEY, paying out six cents per share. So I got paid out six dollars and 85 cents on PEY. This is a quarterly paying dividend stock, or it's a monthly paying dividend stock. Um, PEY uh, has been doing extremely well over the last year, up 38 percent. I'm up 24 percent on PEY. And I have a dividend yield of 4.11%. So PEY has been doing an amazing job for me. And the last stock that paid me out is SPHD, a monthly paying dividend stock. I own 30 shares of SPHD. This is kind of the ETF dividend stock that a lot of beginners start to invest into. And they pay out 11 cents per share. I got paid out $3.42. If we look at SPHD, I'm up 8% and they have a dividend yield of 4.15%, guys. So with these 14 companies paying me out in the month of July, I received a total of $73.50, making this the largest month ever I've ever made in dividends, guys. And, and it's such an amazing job to just wake up and see that I've been receiving checks from different companies. And, and I can see, even see I got AT&T coming up again, paying me out $12 in August, AGNC paying me out $13 in August. So it's setting enough for next month to be just as successful as this month. So I'm going to continue to reinvest those dividends right back into those stocks so that the following month, I'll make even more from that. That is called the compound interest effect or the snowball effect of, that's just a simple way you roll a small snowball down the hill. It won't even kill an insect once it start rolling down the hill. But eventually once it start picking up more snowballs and more snow off the ground, it could eventually boom, bulldozer straight over a car, guys. So that's the snowball effect. Now I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a big change to my portfolio, and that is that I'm going to start buying at least. So a lot of my money has been going to um, dividend stocks over the last couple of months, but now I'm going to start buying at least one share of Tesla. Now, now that's gonna be a saying, guys, Tesla is not a dividend stock, so it's going to affect how much dividends I'm going to start to receive every single month. It's gonna stay sideways for a little bit since I'm only reinvesting my dividend um, payments back into it other than the $600 a week into these stocks. So I'm going to try to pick up at least $600 worth of Tesla every single week. Tesla has been treating me well. I'm up 69% on Tesla. I own 14 shares. And I eventually want to get to 100 shares of Tesla in the future because I'm a big believer of Tesla. And also I do have a pre-order in on their truck, the cyber truck. So I am going to be a big user of their products. And if I'm, if I believe in a company so much as to buy their trucks, I need to at least own 100 shares of that company. So if I buy one share every single week, it'll take me a little over a year and a half, almost two full years to get um, 100 shares of Tesla, but I'm going to try to knock that out and also try to find little ways to pick up some dividend stocks here and there. So dividend investing might not be as exciting in the near future, but once I get 100 shares of Tesla, we're going to um, be doing, we're going to collect premiums on Tesla since they don't have since they don't have dividends and the way I'm going to collect premiums, I'm going to own 100 shares and maybe we're going to change it over to sell call and we could select a strike price of over seven hundred dollars and we could be re and we could be receiving, um, let's say, the seven hundred dollar strike. We could be receiving one thousand and seventy five dollars every single week from Tesla once we get 100 shares. And that'll be better than any dividend stock that I could think of. But it's going to take me a very long time to. <laughs> a very long time to get 100 um, shares of Tesla. And there we go, dreamers. That are the 14 stocks that pay me out. Let me know down in the comment section. Should I, should I just go on ahead and keep investing into the, the, the same dividend companies that I've been investing to? Or is it smart for me to go on ahead and pick up a great uh, growth company like Tesla, even though they do skyrocket up and they do skyrocket down, they have major pullbacks. Is it smart for me to change over to investing into a good blue chip company that, ha that has a lot of growth potential that looking back five to 10 years from now, I really, really wish I would have invested into Tesla. Let me know down in the comment section, guys. 
And as always, let me know down in the comment section how many companies paid you out this month. If only one paid you out, put one. If 14, 20, 30 companies paid you out this month, go ahead and put that. You don't have to say how much you made. I know a lot of you guys make a lot more than me, and there's some guys out there that's making just 12 cents this month, just like how it was when we all started off. So just go ahead and let me know how many companies paid you out in the month of July. But don't forget to pick up your two free stocks by clicking the link down in the description and signing up for Weeble and deposit your $100. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.